Hello, my name is Dr. Robert Abiati of Island Paradise Dental, and today we're here to talk to you about, are you a candidate for dental implants? Well, it really depends. Many patients are a candidate for dental implants, and what we do when you come into our office, we'll do a consultation with you. We'll then take you back and put you in our OP3D technology, which is a scanning technology. And that scanner will allow us to map your bone in three dimensions. Then we can actually plan the case to see where implants can be placed. Now, not everyone is a candidate for implants, and why wouldn't you be? Well, you wouldn't be a candidate for dental implants if you have severe periodontal disease sometimes. And why is that? If the implant is, uh, if the tooth is susceptible to bone peeling off it, an implant can have the same problem. And if you don't have enough bone to put the implant into, sometimes we physically can't get the implant placed. And it really depends on how much bone you have. For example, in the upper jaw, especially in the back part, there are the sinuses that we run into. And I tell people all the time, you need 10 millimeters to place an implant into, 10 millimeters of bone. If you don't have that 10 millimeters of bone, we can do augmentation procedures many times to get that additional amount of bone. But there are some patients that have so little bone that unfortunately, you could place all the bone in the world in that area and we would never get the amount of bone that we would require to place an implant. So it really depends. And what is important is come into the office, we can sit down with you, take a look at the scan in our 3D technology and describe, listen, is this a possibility or what you would need to do as a patient to have a dental implant placed, either via a sinus lift, a ridge split, or other bone grafting techniques that we use here at my office to allow the implant to be placed.